How's it going guys? So as we all know, reptiles are cold-blooded, meaning they need external heat to be able to warm their bodies because they can't do it themselves. So with our captive reptiles here, we have to provide heat lights for them or some sort of other heating to get them warm enough so they can function properly. But heating reptiles can cause some issues. It can be difficult to reach the perfect temperature and heating these boxes can be quite dangerous if unregulated, it can cause fires or cook your animals, all sorts of problems. So this is where a thermostat comes into play. Thermostats can dramatically increase the safety of your setup as well as help you find that perfect temperature range and keep it there. So I actually had a company called Inkbird reach out to me and offer to send me a thermostat to try out. Now this one's interesting. It works like a normal on-off thermostat. But this one's actually Wi-Fi connectable so you can use it right off your phone, program it all off there, which I think is going to be really helpful. Let's check it out. So here's the unit itself. It comes like this and it's got obviously a unit here with the up down. You can adjust everything as well as obviously it comes with a PowerPoint plug, your thermostat probe that's going to read your temperatures. And then what's interesting about this one as well, it actually has a heating and cooling input. So you can plug in your heat light there. And if you have some sort of cooling system like a fan or something like that to uh, help cool down your enclosure quicker, you can plug that in there and they can switch on and off between to uh, keep your temperature consistent. Now for my use of this at the moment, I'm just going to be using the heating. I'm going to use a heat light and I'm going to test it out, see how it works. So here at the moment, I'm actually just starting to warm up my blue tongue skinks to get them out of uh, hibernation. There's a little Centralian male there. He's just waking up today. And so in order to stimulate them to wake up and start getting active again, I'm going to have to start giving them some night heat as well as daytime heat. And that's where this thermostat's going to come in. So as you can see up the top here, I've got two different heat lights. Um, that's their normal daytime heat there. That's just a halogen bulb. And over there I have a ceramic heater meter. Now I'm going to switch that out because that's the light we're going to hook up to the thermostat. I've got something better. So I'm going to take out this ceramic heat emitter, which do work great, but I find the heat projectors are more of a superior form of heating. So I'm going to be giving them that. And then we're going to be using this for our nighttime heat. So let's set up this thermostat. All right, so setting this up is pretty easy. Obviously plug in the PowerPoint bit into the PowerPoint. I have one on the side of this enclosure here. And then we're going to put our temperature probe inside the enclosure. So you want this right near the heating source so it can really accurately pick up the temperatures in that area. And that's something I really like about this thermos that actually the probe is really sleek and slim so it can fit through a lot of different things. I think that's really useful. Some temperature probes are really big and bulky and they really just get in the way and look ugly. This one can fit through most of my wire tops of my homemade enclosures and through the back of this enclosure here. So that's actually really useful for me. All right, so we've got our probe in here. So that's going to be picking up all the, that's going to be picking up all the temperature readings from this light to make sure it's not too hot. So from there, we can plug in our lead from our light into the heating side of the thermostat. And then we're ready to set it up. All right, so then if we turn it on, comes on and then what we can see here the reading on top that is the reading that the temperature probe is picking up so that's the actual temperature inside the enclosure there and then the screen down here that is actually for what we're setting it to what we want the temperature to be so right now it's on 28 so it's on 20 and then you'll see the heating light is on as well meaning the light is on and it's heating to get up to 28 and when it reaches 28 it's like any sort of on-off thermostat, the light will shut off. It'll take about, you can adjust the, you can adjust everything really. You can adjust the temperature range. You can adjust how much of a gap before the light turns back on, how much it needs to cool down. I think it's just automatically set to about two degrees and then it'll just keep switching on and off and regulating like that. So the best thing about this thermostat is you can actually set everything off your phone. You simply download the Inkbird app you can connect your thermostat to it and then you can do everything from there. So I've got it downloaded here and you can see it's all synced up. So 23.4, 23.4 and it's heating up to 28. If I wanted to change that, I can simply go into here, change it down to say 20 degrees and you can see it just changed, changed to uh, a lower temperature now. So it's that easy to set and you know, move your temperatures if you need to, which is going to be really helpful for me because I want to set these lizards up 
with, uh, you know, some daytime heat and then lower it a bit during the night and then raise it again during the day and then slowly raising it as we come more into sp spring. So this is going to be very helpful and it's really easy to use. And what's useful about this too is if you go into settings, you can actually set your high temperature values and cold temperature values. And this basically means if it goes over or under this value, it'll actually set off an alarm and it can notify you too, which is very helpful, especially if something goes, you know, very wrong, that can save your animals. So the fact that you can do everything off your phone is really good. It makes life so much easier for me, really. But if you wanted to use it like a normal thermostat, you absolutely can. It comes with this manual that helps you figure out everything if you want to use it like that because you have to press different buttons a certain amount of times to change things. And yeah, I just couldn't be bothered with that. So I went with the app and it's been really good. What's good about these thermostats as well is they come with a warranty. So it's minimum one year. And just to show you guys, I've actually set up this light here on the thermostat just to show you how easy it is to change it. So it's set to 30 degrees now. It's currently heating up. And say I wanted to drop the temperature down to maybe 20 degrees. All I gotta do is select it on there, hit OK, and off the light goes. Cooling. So yeah, I love it. It's so easy to do, and it works great. So I quite like this Inkbird thermostat. I think it's really good for the price. Um, I'll leave links below to everything if you want to check it out. Special thanks to Inkbird for sending it out to me and letting me try it. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about getting some more. So there's a look at the Inkbird thermostat. Thanks again for sending that to me, guys. And if there's any other companies out there that want me to try out any reptile-related products, I'm more than happy to do it. Just send me a message through my Facebook page. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. Subscribe for more Australian reptiles, and I'll see you next time. Check this out, guys. I've had that light on for a little bit, just trying to warm up the enclosure a little bit. And the female was actually sleeping underneath this hide. And she sort of just bulldozed her way under the heat. <laughs> ah, she doesn't care. But how beautiful is that? Keep for these guys to be up and active again. And hopefully we can get them breeding.